Hello again. Over the last few years, xenophobia has joined a select group of words such as fascist and racist, which are used indiscriminately against people with whom one disagrees, until we've reached a point at which those words have become more or less meaningless. Few of those who shout fascist actually know what fascism is, or could even begin to define it, and much the same applies to the use of the term xenophobic. It is enough that it is a grand-sounding polysyllabic word which has the effect of making those slinging it about feel that they are knowledgeable and articulate. Before going any further, let's just check what we mean by xenophobia, shall we? We're better to do this than by consulting the Oxford English Dictionary, my go-to source for anything involving language. Let's have a look. Are we now xenophobia? Xenophobia, intense or irrational dislike or fear of people from other countries. Well, I think that's probably pretty fair. That's pretty much what we mean by xenophobia these days. I think we can all agree on that, that somebody who is xenophobic either dislikes, hates or fears foreigners. I thought it worth talking about this a little, for it is a popular word thrown in my direction by some of those who disagree violently with the views which I express on this channel. I thought I might talk a little about my neighbours. The people living next door to me are Bulgarians. We get on excellently. I buy their kids Easter eggs and we exchange gifts at Christmas. They are quiet, courteous and considerate. Over the back from me is a Romanian family with whom I have no dealings. Um, they too have children. Here's the thing. When I sit in my garden on a sunny afternoon, all I can hear being spoken is Bulgarian or Romanian. The only music which I hear from most places is played by those neighbours and it's Eastern European stuff. All their visitors are either Bulgarian or Romanian. There is absolutely nothing wrong with my neighbours, and I have no complaints about them. But the truth is, I would prefer to hear English being spoken rather than Slavic languages. Now, this can hardly be described as xenophobia, although I don't doubt for a moment that some fool will pop up in the comments here and level that accusation against me. I certainly don't hate the people next door, or even dislike them, and neither do I fear them. The very idea is absurd. But the truth is, I would rather live next door to people who are English, Scottish, Irish or Welsh. I know very well that an awful lot of people feel the same way, not just here, but in other areas as well. Like me, they do not dislike or fear their neighbours, they just wish that they were British rather than foreigners. Even by the broadest possible definition, this can hardly be called xenophobic on my part. There is not the least animosity or hostility involved. I just prefer to be around British people. I rather suspect that this feeling of mine is not confined to a handful of little Englanders. Indeed, I know for certain sure that it is not. That is why a borough like Tower Hamlets in East London came to have such a high proportion of Bangladeshis and Pakistanis living there because they preferred to have as neighbours people who spoke Urdu and Bengali, rather than English. I have an idea that this desire to be surrounded by those who share a common heritage and speak the same language as us is a deep-seated drive and widespread across the whole world. I honestly can't think that all the people who feel that way are really xenophobic. This is really the only point which I wish to get across in this video, that I do not fear or hate Romanians or Bulgarians, but if I had a free choice in the matter, I would rather have people living around me whose native language is English. I shall await with a sense of hideous inevitability the comments which are now likely to denounce me for racism, xenophobia, 
and for all I know to the contrary, fascism as well.